女性天皇ドットコム。The blood of the imperial family is about to be cut off by politics. In the survival of the imperial family, the most urgent issue is stable succession to the imperial throne. It was established in Heisei 29, at the time of the abdication of the current emperor during his lifetime. The imperial household special exception law concerning the abdication of the emperor. With the enactment of this special law, a request was made by the Diet to the government. That is the examination of measures to ensure a stable succession to the imperial throne. At a government-led expert meeting held in the third year of Reiwa, it was supposed to be discussed. In 2017, the Diet requested the government, through a supplementary resolution to issues to ensure a stable succession to the imperial throne, it was the creation of a female royal family. However, in the 2021 report of the advisory committee, it was stated that it has changed to securing the number of members of the royal family. In Heisei 29, in the supplementary resolution to the Imperial Household Special Provisions Bill, concerning the abdication of the emperor, etc., the Diet asked the government to consider the following reasons. Issues to ensure a stable succession to the imperial throne. It is on the creation and establishment of a female royal family. However, in the report of the expert committee, issued in December of the third year of Reiwa, securing the imperial family is an urgent issue. Separated from the question of succession to the imperial throne, regarding the succession to the imperial throne, from the next generation of his royal highness prince Hisahito, the current situation is not ripe for concrete discussion. On the contrary, it is thought to destabilize the succession to the imperial throne. It is described as, after all, each party agreed, issues to ensure a stable succession to the imperial throne. We will not postpone the establishment of a women's palace family, etc. But we'll discuss it head on. Isn't it a responsibility to show certain conclusions? The argument for stable succession to the throne. On the contrary, it would destabilize the succession to the imperial throne. Prime Minister Kushida said this. We must not shake the throne of succession to the imperial throne, up to his royal highness prince Hisahito, regarding the succession to the imperial throne in Japan. Patrilineal succession has been maintained, since ancient times, without exception. As Prime Minister Kushida says, the issue of stable succession to the imperial throne, until His Royal Highness Prince Isahito ascended the throne, if it is postponed, the succession to the throne will not be possible. In addition, the influence on the Queen, who will marry His Royal Highness Prince Isahito, the mental stress can be enormous. Moreover, there is only His Royal Highness Prince Isahito, in the imperial family. It is very likely that it will become the last emperor. In thinking about the future of the imperial family at this stage, it is necessary to discuss the issue of stable succession to the imperial throne head on. Realizing a female emperor, will the subsequent succession to the imperial throne also be inherited through the male line? Will they carve out a tradition on a new path to a matrilineal emperor? If you want to continue the patrilineal inheritance, what will happen to the marriage partner of a female emperor? Discussing the issue of stable succession to the imperial throne head-on means that we are going to have a lot of discussions like this. Naturally, it will take time. Starting with Her Royal Highness Princess Aiko to Shinomiya, the four female members of the imperial family are forced to leave the imperial register due to marriage. We have to start discussions and come to a conclusion. In the Association for Realizing a Bright Japan with a Female Emperor, in considering the future and eternal prosperity of the imperial family in Japan, I believe that a female emperor must be realized. We ask for your help in making this happen.
Japan people's lives and culture are rooted in the culture of the imperial family. Japan is only possible because of the imperial family. Is there value in Japan when the imperial family is gone? Through our activities, we will. I would like to preach to the people of Japan. Finally, I would like to say a few words to Prime Minister Kushida. Are you going to destroy Japan?